Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to talk about Bezier curve editing. Lots of fun. So this is a new feature with iClone 7.3 that allows you to create more uh, detailed uh, paths and manipulate your paths in various different ways. And we'll go through those as we proceed through this tutorial. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and play back what we have on the screen right here. We have a uh, little Mr. Curve and his uh, hot rod just, you know, uh, heading down the highway over this huge speed bump there. All right, and that's a that's done via path. If I make my path visible, you can see it just goes like this over top of our uh, ramp right there. Okay, so we'll talk about how to do this and explain Bezier curves along the way. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete the path for now since we're going to start from scratch. And let's go ahead and create our own path. Now what I like to do, what I tend to like to do if I'm creating a path like this, is try to get an overhead view of our entire scene. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my Mr curve mobile there and press the G hotkey and that'll give me a direct overhead view of my scene. Okay, and I can hold Alt and Shift and scroll my mouse wheel to zoom out at a faster pace. We have a larger looking scene here. And here we go. This is a much more organized layout that I like to use to create paths, especially if they're going over a generally flat terrain like this. Okay, what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to make our arc uh, here transparent. So I'm going to just go ahead and select uh, wireframe mode for our shading for the arc. I'm going to just create a path right through there, ending up on this platform over here. So if you have nothing selected in your scene, you can right click and you can create a path this way. Or uh, as well, you can also go up to create and create path here as well. Okay, so I'm just going to create a path and I'm going to left click to add a couple points along my path, just like this, nothing too difficult. We're going to have uh, you know, one point like this right in the middle. We'll have a point over here. And uh, maybe another point over here, yada, yada. Okay, good enough. So there we go. Uh, we can, we're going to add points a little bit later, so it doesn't really matter how many points we put in right now. Okay, so we're going right through our uh, our big speed bump there. Let's actually make that uh, shaded normal now. Okay, so uh, the first thing I'm going to talk about here is how to uh, lay a different path, different type of path, known as a linear path, and also how we can merge the two paths together. Okay, so say for example, I didn't want my car to end up here. I'm going to make this other platform visible, ta-da, and say for example, I wanted him to make a curve and end up over here. Well, the way we can do that is uh, obviously by creating another path, but you know we want to extend that current path that we have right now. So let's first create our second path, okay, and just do a little curve like this. Now watch as I put down my second point here. I'm going to zoom in so you can get a better look here. As I put down my second point, notice that we have, you know, the normal way of laying down a path, it'll kind of curve like this. It'll create a, a smooth curve, just like that. If I hold the shift key, what's going to happen? That's going to, that's going to switch to a linear type of curve, okay? And you can see we got a much sharper angle, okay? Releasing shift, holding shift, okay? And uh, that's just something to be aware of. We'll talk about linear paths a little bit later, okay? And then I'm just going to create another couple points right here and we're good to go. Okay, so we have this path right here, and we have this path. We want to connect the two. It's pretty easy to do. All you got to do is click on your original path, all right, and there's an option here to pick path to merge, and I'm going to select that. You can click anywhere on the uh, path that you want to merge to, like here, and it'll automatically connect from the end point of your selected path to the beginning point of the next path, okay? Pretty simple stuff, and it'll also create a merged path item here in your scene manager. You can see in this case it's blue, and the blue merged path, you can kind of see, goes throughout both paths. It's kind of just a little speckled here, but you can kind of get the point there. All right, so that's the merged path. Let's go ahead and Control-Z to undo that, or you can just delete it. And I'm going to take the second path here and reverse the direction of this path. So now it's not going to end up here, it's going to end up here. All right, so reverse direction. Presto, and now we have it ending up here. So now if I try to merge, just as another example here, pick path to merge, I pick this one, it's going to just zoop, go from here to the beginning point of the next path, just like I mentioned. Okay, so pretty uh, straightforward stuff. Let's just go ahead and control Z undo that, and uh, we'll just select our other path and presto reverse it back to the other way. Okay, so normally the shaded uh, point here will be the uh, last point on your path. In addition to that, you can also add points uh, at the end or beginning of your path or even right in the middle. So let's go ahead and try that. I'm going to delete this second path for now 
and keep this path selected, we have the option here to add points, okay? So if I add point and I click over here, over here, over here, nothing's going to happen. I need to click where I want to add those points. In this case, I'm going to add a couple more to the end. So I'm going to click on our end marker there and just go over here like this. Uh, nice casual turn right on this platform. Okay, and then right click to end it. Okay, so we just added that on and it's all part of the same path. We can do the same thing for the beginning as well. If we want, let's uh, make the car invisible. And it's just Mr. Curve floating in the air. Uh, select that path, add points from the beginning. We can you know, have a couple more over here as well. Okay, no big deal. And then just right click. Now, if I want to add, let's make the car visible so Mr. Curve doesn't hurt his legs trying to do that squat. Um, we're going to add a couple points here into the middle of our uh, ramp here because in a moment we're going to talk about getting the car over top of the ramp. All right. So let's uh, take it back to wireframe mode here. Uh, it's the arc option here and just change to wireframe. You can also use the Alt 3 hotkey. And I want to create a couple more points on this uh, path right here. So to do that, again, I'm going to just select the path and add points. And you can click anywhere you want in the along the line here to add a point. So right there, you can see it'll add a point. And if I get an overhead view, if I don't, if I left click once, it'll show us the option that we have. We can move it around like this. I don't need to uh, click it right away. I can also, like I showed earlier, hold the shift key. And if I hold the shift key, we'll create a much more angular uh, point like this, okay? So in this case, I want everything to be fairly angular. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the G hotkey, again, to get that overhead view. And it'll give us an overhead view of our entire path. Let me zoom in a little bit here. And let's go ahead and just, uh, you know, uh, hold the shift key to make it a bit straighter, just like this. If I hold the shift key and I click, it's going to add that point right there. And I'm just going to right click to remove that. So you can see we also need to create the... We need to adjust all these points uh, to linear, and I'll talk about how to do that in just a moment. Let's go ahead and add another point here, just like this. And we'll just throw that one in like this. And there we go. Okay, good enough. So now is a good time to talk about the different types of uh, paths, okay? The different curves on your path that are possible. So to do that, I'm going to create a new path. So I'm going to go to Create Path, just like this. And I'm going to create a simple path with four separate points just like this, okay? Pretty simple stuff. All right, uh, that may be a little bit difficult for some people to see, so let's change the color to uh, maybe a, a nice darker red or something like that, okay? There we go, much easier. Okay, so um, we have this regular path that we created right here. Now, we can change this to a, a linear path, we can change it to a, we can smooth it out, and we uh, change it to a Bezier path as well. Okay, if I want to edit the points on my current path, if I select Edit Points, say for example I choose this point right here, you can see we have those Bezier Curve handlebars that we can manipulate just like that. Okay, we can change them to whatever we want, and so on and so forth. I can do the same thing for this one over here. There's the Bezier handlebar. I can select here and, and move it if I want. Okay, pretty straightforward stuff. Now, if I want, I can also change each individual point here to a different type of curve, okay? So if I right click on this one and I select linear down here, you can see currently it's set to Bezier. If I select linear, it's going to create a linear point uh, right here. So from here to here, it's going to be very linear, like you saw earlier up, up top there. However, if I want the, you know, uh, curve from here to here to be linear as well, what I need to do is I need to select that area as well, uh, that point rather as well. I'm going to control Z and undo this. I'm going to hold shift and select both points. And if I right click, I'm going to select linear here and it'll create that right angle just like that. Notice as well, it's very important to notice here that when I did that, notice there are our Bezier handlebars now have like a dash along them. So if I select this point right here, I can move that one point only. And this point I can move separately just like that. Okay. Whereas if I select this point over here, just like that. Notice it still has the connected, the unbroken Bezier handlebars, and I can move them like this. Okay, so when you change something to linear, it's going to break the uh, Bezier handlebars, but you can reunify them, and I'll show you how in just a moment here. But let's go ahead and talk about doing the entire thing. So if I, for example, just click anywhere, so we have no points selected, just click over here somewhere, there's no points selected, I can right click and I can change the entire thing to smooth. I can change the entire thing to 
linear, and I can change the entire thing to Bezier. Okay, back to Bezier. Now, like I mentioned before, as soon as I choose the linear curve type, it's going to break all those individual points. Okay, so they don't have the uh, unified tangent handlebars. So if I want to reunify them, I can easily do that. I can go ahead and right click and select Unify Tangents. Okay, and it's going to unify the tangents for that point right here. I need to do the same thing, Unify Tangents. Or we can just go ahead and, you know, do them all at the same time. If I select this one, let's break it again. And let's do all this, all of them at the same time here. So I'm going to select this one right here and shift select this one right here. Right click, unify tangents. And then they're both unified together. And we can just, you know, uh, move them along however we wish. So you can set individual points to linear curve. You can set multiple points to linear curve, um, or the entire path to linear smooth Bezier curve whatever you want. You can unify and break up tangents. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at using that in application on our speed bump there. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this path. We don't need it for now. Let's make sure we delete the whole thing there. And let's take a look at our uh, point right here. So the first thing I'm going to do here, I don't like these uh, these little kind of curves right here that go like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this path, edit point, and you can select linear. Okay, so it just creates the linear point like that. I go over here and linear, same thing. Okay, so this is generally what I want to do. I don't want him. I don't want to have to deal with the he extra headache of having him kind of going up a curve on the on the ramp here. So I just want to make everything nice and linear. All right. So let's go ahead then and move all those points up. And so to do that, I'm going to go ahead and shift select them all. Shift select one two three four, and then this point over here. We'll probably actually just want to move this point in a little bit. There we go. He's feeling a little bit left out. And now we'll shift select all these points. You too, buddy. Or rather, we just need these three points, actually. I'm going to hold control and deselect this one. So if you have selected too many points, you can also hold control and deselect. And just bring these three bad boys up like this. There we go. Okay, but you'll notice the problem here, uh, obviously, between these two points is it's still a smooth curve. So what we can do is I can select that point. Shift select this point, right click, change it to linear. All right, boom. Now we have a nice linear path for our truck to kind of drive over here. All right, let's go ahead and take the shading back to uh, normal default. And there you go. All right, it's a little bit off the uh, actual surface, but we'll fix that a little bit later on. Okay, so let's go ahead now and get our car to animate along that path really quick. So I'm gonna, with the car selected, we're going to go over here to our, uh, we can actually just right click it and select path. Whoops. Right click path. Pick path. There we go. Pick the beginning point of the path. And if we want to follow along that path throughout the duration of our project, let's just go to the end point right here. And uh, we're going to, that's the last frame. And with the car selected, we're going to change our path position to 100. All right. And then we're going to create that little white dotted animation path right there. And you can see that our car will, uh, Go along the uh, path, but not in the correct direction. So we need to change this from, uh, we need to change to follow path and change it to the negative y axis. And then if we play back, Mr. Curve is going to just go nicely along the path right there. Okay. Now it looks okay when he's going over the, from the speed bump right here, but we can probably refine this a little bit. So let's go ahead and take a look at doing that, uh, with the pro process I was mentioning earlier. Okay. So let's go over here and, uh, just bring it in a little bit. So you can see that, okay, so his rear wheel is kind of going into the ground right there. Maybe not something that we ideally want to have. So let's select our path, go to uh, edit path at the very top here, edit point rather. And let's bring that point up a little bit, just like this. All right, probably take it a little bit into the sky there. All right, and that's looking better. Okay, but at this point here, you can see his uh, front wheels are kind of up in the sky. So we'd probably want to, you know, take this Bezier handle right here. We can probably bring this down a little bit. Okay, just like that. And then as he moves along, right here, this point probably needs to be put down here. I'm going to put you down. There we go. And, uh, of course, we can take that Bezier handle as well and, and bring it down if we want. But I think we're doing okay so far. Let's continue on. And uh, here's a point where we might want to adjust the Bezier curves for this uh, 
uh, this poor guy right here, this poor point. I can just select the actual handle there and just bring it down. Yeah, let's just bring it down just slightly like this. Okay, and probably this one can be put down a little bit as well. There we go. We're not going to go for extreme accuracy here, but I just wanted to show you how you can achieve, you know, the uh, result we're trying to get here. So I think that's looking okay. And just through right there, it kind of bounces over and then bounces up as he's going over the ramp. And we'll just take this point, which can go back to path and edit point. There we go. Take this guy a little bit further down over here. And don't be afraid to space out the points as well, okay? Um, so then we'll go along like this. And then this point is probably a little bit high, so I'll take that point, lower it down as well, maybe place it a little bit further along here. Just like this. And then as he's going over, you know, here we can probably even, you know, modify the Bezier uh, handlebar right here. And bring that one a little bit further down. So I'll have a result like this. And then kind of, seems like he's kind of almost jumping over here. We can probably even take that point down itself. All right. And I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but there you go. And then he kind of hits the ground running. And the last point, he can we can probably take this curve and uh, this Bezier point handlebar over here and bring it slightly up, something like that. Um, there you go. Maybe the actual point itself needs to be put up more in this case as well. Let's take that back down and bring the actual point itself up. There you go. I think that'll be fine, and then, oop, and then probably that busy curve needs to go back down. Where else? There we go. All right, that's a nice, nice landing there. All right, so that's basically how you can use the, uh, you know, editing of the points in combination with the uh, with the Bezier curves, um, the handle handles there, the tangent handles to uh, create the ideal kind of, uh, you know. Smooth movement over top of your uh, your path or something. Probably even too far off the ground up here, but uh, it can always be fixed. Like that. All right. And there you go. Okay. Nice bumpy ride over top of the uh, uh, speed bump there. All right. So that's about all I wanted to show you in this tutorial, guys. In the next tutorial, we're going to talk about uh, using the offset. Uh, for kind of, We're going to have Mr. Curve Drift in his car. And we're going to use the uh, the curve editor as well for speed changes in the uh, along the path. All right. So thanks so much for watching. As always, uh, make sure you check out our forums at forum.reillusion.com, and I hope to see you in the next video.